Chesapeake say they smell something, but they can't quite pinpoint what it is. Now, most residents report smelling the odor near the old Ford plant near the Norfolk City line, but it's also been reported farther into Chesapeake near Indian River Road. Fire crews went out but couldn't find anything either. And people, some people describe it as a gas odor. Others tell us that it smells like sulfur. We talked to one resident on Wingate Avenue who says they just want to know what it is. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know what it is. I, got, I mean, I know trucks. I know there's like a little factory on this side or across the gate. And there's like trucks or whatever, but um, I don't really, I don't really know. I don't, can't really think of what it is other than like maybe some neighbors burning something. Tonight, we're still making some calls trying to get some more answers on this mystery smell. So if you smell it, we want to know it. Let us uh, give us a comment on our Facebook page. Phone calls from all around the county tonight to 911 call centers and to the 10 newsroom about a foul smell making people sick. The smell reportedly rolled off the ocean, but one woman that we talked to said that it left more than just an odor. And 10 News reporter Preston Phillips is live in Cardiff tonight with what she says dripped all over her car. Preston. And Steve, that nauseating gas-like odor filled the Cardiff Library here within minutes. It was eventually evacuated. And one woman who was inside at the time tells us tonight she's convinced it was gas that was dispersing some kind of oil components. Lifeguards in Encinitas were first to report the strong, pungent odor around 5 p.m., described as a gas-like smell rolling in off the ocean. Soon after, 10 News was flooded with calls, residents from the coast, all the way to Rancho Bernardo and Forest Ranch experiencing the smell, some complaining of headaches and outdoor activities being canceled. This Delmar resident who didn't want us to use her name was inside the Cardiff Library around 5 p.m. when the gas-like odor filled the entire building with the doors closed. There was none when I walked in that door, and within 10 minutes, the entire library was filled. Eventually, she got in her car and drove to try and get away from the smell. Quality officials are searching for the cause of this mystery smell. Thousands of people from Palm Springs to Simi Valley are reporting a foul-smelling odor in the air. So authorities are out searching for the source of the stench, and so is KTLA's Elizabeth Espinosa. She joins us live now from Diamond Bar with the very latest. Elizabeth. Glenn and Leela have always wanted to say this, but the story really stinks and on so many levels. I'm being real here. Uh, it's a pungent smell that everyone is reporting from as far away, as you said, as well, Palm Springs. But, you know, we've heard from Lake Elsinore, San Bernardino, Riverside, to Simi Valley. Of course, right now, I will say my photog photographer, Brian and I, are pretty lucky. He's not smelling it. But we are here for answers The South Coast Air Quality Management District. We want to know what stinks so bad. What's the cause? Well, their offices are closed on Mondays, but that didn't stop the flood of phone calls. Residents from a widespread uh, area, again, reporting a strong, foul, rotten egg sulfur odor. Now, you're looking at Osceola Street, should be, uh, elementary school in Silmar, where our photojournalist Aaron Williams is bringing you a live look, I believe we have that, at a school where children are being kept inside due to the smell. Now, back here in Diamond Bar, I don't smell anything again, fortunately, for my photog Brian and I, but people we talked to say it was an awful smell. Uh, some have speculated the source could be the Salton Sea. Where's that? We're told it's about three hours away from here. Now, it could be the annual die-off of fish there, but air quality management district officials we just spoke to say the source of this foul odor is still under investigation. It's just uh, notice that um, um, the um, smells that that people are having uh, this just happened this week but also in July uh, in San Diego uh, they had that same smell and a lot of them described it as a uh, rotten eggs type of smell and a sulfine type of sulfur type of smell and uh, you know as soon as I found heard about that I, I came to my mind is like it could be a volcanic a volcano or it could be an earthquake and uh, I just did a, a, a search right now just uh, regarding what uh, volcanoes smell like and here's an article that says why do most volcanoes smell like rotten eggs and uh, <clears throat> so obviously and it says gives an answer because the allowed uh, large amounts of sulfane 
uh, usually present when the multi rocks are close to the surface. So that's uh, one article that talked about the the smell, and then uh, looking further on on this um, thing uh, with the smell, they said now the smell ties up to dead fishes in the Saltane Sea. You notice he said dead fishes in the Saltane Sea. Well, um, what will cause dead fishes to rise up in the Saltane Sea? Um, could it be a volcanic thing that's happening? Or could it be earthquakes or something like that? And they describe it as samples of sulfine kind of thing that's happening. So that gave me a question. But also I just want to point out that uh, um, I forgot to include here is that uh, there was a lake in um, Russia that, uh, that all of a sudden started steaming, turning into hot water. And you, if you guys remember that movie, uh, Dante's Pink, where the water all of a sudden turned uh, kind of like a hot sauna and stuff like that, and it was because of a volcano thing. So I think there's some there's some evidence here and some conclusions that it could be a volcano. I did also a search here uh, on, you know, can a volcano happen in, in Los Angeles? And check this out. Uh, it said that uh, there was a movie, uh, it was called Volcano, and it talked about uh, a volcano that erupted in Los Angeles. It, obviously, it's not true, but, but that's what the movie talked about. And it gave a location right here as far as uh, where it could be. And they described it as molten rock uh, mayhem that feeds on volcano comes from much closer to the surface. And it says volcanoes are located, check this out, located there in the magnetum lots of the times it is toward plates so um and then also here here's an, that it says that also where there are lots of faults fault lines and earthquakes the san andreas fault is a place where two plates are sliding past each other's so there's lots of faults fault lines and earthquakes one main uh main places rocks are melted where it's the plates are under and then it goes on that uh, uh, this happens further north of the Cascades of Washington Oregon uh, North America that is why there are so many active volcanoes like Mount St. Helens uh, Los Angeles and California may have uh, potential of earthquakes but uh, it says safe from volcanoes for a while notice it said that for a while so could it be maybe that the uh, the smells that these people are having uh, that's reporting uh, could be earthquakes or it could be volcanoes? That one video uh, was not in California, by the way. It was it was in uh, Virginia, and they're experiencing the same uh, smell. So could it be maybe a fault line or a volcano is present for that too? Um, it just gives a kind of a eerie uh, questions regarding that. Um, one thing I noticed, uh, folks, is is I was looking at um, on here on this article uh, down on um, the Canary Islands. Um, there was a situation there where uh, they had volcanoes that that uh, were underwater and. Um, what happened was that uh, they had a situation where uh, the smell of these volcanic uh, rocks are, were smelling like uh, rotten eggs. And for some reason I can't, uh, my computer froze up on here, so sorry about that. Oh, there it goes. Uh, is um, the smell of, of um, rotten eggs, that's what they described it there. So uh, just gives kind of a question here. Uh, mine, uh, could it be that uh, what people are, are experiencing a volcano? Uh, here's a, a recent uh, article right now on regarding the uh, um, thing on Salt Sultan Sea. Uh, I looked up and see because that's where the uh, dead fishes are happening and stuff, and the smell where they they believe. Um, that's what's coming. Um, 
let me just pull this up for you folks so you can see what I'm talking about here. Um, it said uh, that the investigation that came up um, from from the uh, thing in Salton Sea. Also, what I've noticed that uh, there was also earthquakes that happened in the Salton Sea. So could it be um, this is uh, coming about to an earthquake or um, uh, something close to that? So I did look up Salton Sea, as I mentioned again. And there were some earthquakes there happening too. So um, just check out, do a Google search on your own regarding uh, rotten egg smell and volcanic uh, sulfane smell. And you'll, you'll come up to a conclusion of volcanoes on that. So um, just, I don't know what that means, but uh, get ready, folks. Uh, I hope you guys know what's going on because obviously these people don't know what's going on. So. Um, time to prepare and be aware.